Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I want to do a little review on this Him Hany Mori. Now I actually do not know the pronunciation of this. This was actually suggested to me by Chunk, the cheapy guy a little while ago. Thank you so much for recommending me this one. It smelled kind of familiar. It smelled like things I had smelled before, but at the same time I was kind of like, I couldn't pin it down. I had to like, spray this one a lot. This one is a little bit familiar, but a little bit unique at the same time. The notes of this one are cinnamon, amber, violet leaf, tonka bean, cedar, pepper, teak wood, cardamom. The first three notes there are cinnamon, cinnamon roll, amber, and violet leaf. Cinnamon and amber kind of have a similar sweet, almost a little spicy, a little bit smooth, likable, closer to like a cinnamon bark than actual cinnamon. The violet leaf is what gives it, it's kind of like zest and a little bit of a different style smell to it. Almost smells a little musky and sweet at the same time, but I think it's like the pepper and the violet leaf just kind of giving it a different kind of smell, a little bit challenging, similar to musk, but Overall, I don't think it had musk, although I did think it did initially. The pros is that it's very versatile. This one, it kind of smells like something that would be for 21 plus. Some people say you could wear any fragrance at any age. I kind of agree with that too, but it does smell a little bit mature, but it has a little bit of this sexy sweetness. It's not so much sexy sweetness to where it's just for going out for a date or just for leisurely time, but it's not so reserved that it's gotta be for work. It kind of jumps on both sides, which I, I appreciate. But just enough sexiness that makes it more versatile while being reserved enough for a lot of other situations. I do think this is better in the fall or cooler environments. It just has a little bit of a slight sweetness. Usually for the heavy winter, you want a more of a strong sweetness. So this one smells more like spring or fall. And this is kind of fragrance when you have cinnamon. Is it cinnamon? And amber, it just smells more like fall to me personally. And I think this one is great for people starting their collection. If you've collected fragrances for a long time, if you have like a really good high quality amber fragrance that you like, it's probably gonna beat this fragrance. For a lot of people just starting starting out their fragrance collection and a lot of things that people end up buying. This one really does smell very good and I would recommend it much, much more for people just getting into fragrances. Although I don't mind it at all, I just think that you could find perfected versions of a semi-sweet, slightly challenging amber, especially in the niche game. Although it doesn't smell like anything specifically. Another pro here, of course, is that it's very cheap and very affordable. I forget how much I paid for this. I wanna say in the 20 to $30 range, I'll put it down below for sure for you guys. The cons for me is that it's not rough, but it's not super smooth either. It smells so many luxurious, high quality ambers, niche fragrances, like something like Ojan or something like Grand Soir, things like that are just so luxurious, so extra smooth, so overdone. It's not nearly as smooth as those, but it's also not rough at the same time. So I wanted to put it out there. I didn't want to push it down too far. The longevity and projection is kind of average. It's not so much that it's bad, but I want to say that it's not great. Teenagers or really young people, I wouldn't really think this is the best for. Probably in really high heat because it has a little bit of sweetness. Wouldn't want to wear it that much. Really not too many cons, a lot more pros with this one. People just getting into fragrance, I definitely think this is a great all-arounder or a gift for somebody. I kind of want to say 25 plus, 21 plus, you could kind of wear it. It just has a classicness to it that I see more older men liking. The smell, I'd give it a solid eight, maybe like a 7.5 to an eight, but because like, I haven't smelled anything specifically like like this, I'm gonna give it a solid eight. And likeability, I'm gonna give this one an eight. I haven't really tested it or shown too many people this one, but I have sprayed it a lot. It's generally likable, generally very versatile. Doesn't do anything extra besides that. That's why it's not getting more than eight, but I had to give an eight because it does cover a lot of bases and I do think it is generally pretty likable. Longevity projection, I'd give it probably a firm seven. I put seven, 7.5 there, but seven feels good. It's not bad, but it's not necessarily great. I've worn this pretty much nonstop the last three days. I'm actually in the middle of doing my top 10 cheap fragrances. Maybe this one will make it. I do like it. I also have a lot of other good fragrances here, so we'll see. It's definitely something worth looking into if you're just getting into fragrance, like I've said so many times in this video. But anyways, guys, we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers. I couldn't do that. Any of you guys help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. Cinnamon.